The legacy of oil exploration in India started in the dense forests of the northeastern region of the country. While railway tracks were being laid by the Assam Railway and Trading Company Limited in the 1800s, a herd of logging elephants came back after a nighttime excursion, with their feet unmistakably covered in oil. This marked the beginning of India's oil and gas chapter. The earliest recorded references of the traces of oil in northeast India can be found in the Army Officer's Memoir. Lieutenant R. Wilcox of the 46th Regiment Native Infantry in 1825 makes a special mention of oil rising to the surface in Subcom, an area 25 miles northeast of Digboy. He writes, The jungles are full of an odor of petroleum. In November 1866, the systematic process of drilling began, the first ever in the region, after a large tract of land was secured on both sides of the Buri Dihing River. The first two wells came up dry with some traces of gas. On the 26th of March 1867, about eight miles from Digboy, from Asia's first mechanically drilled well, oil was collected. These series of events motivated the Assam Oil Company to expedite their efforts in securing more oil fields in the region. In 1889, India's first commercially successful well was drilled near the present Digboy station. From the colloquial cry of the Canadian drillers, Dig Boy Dig, the settlement got its name. Subsequently, a need to establish a bigger refinery was felt. Thus, the famous and the first in Asia, Dig Boy Refinery. By 1921, the Burma Oil Company took over, bringing with it much needed capital and expertise. To further expedite exploration, Oil India Private Limited was formed in 1959 a partnership between BOC, AOC, and the Government of India. In 1961, Oil India Limited, a joint venture between BOC and the Government of India was formed, where both were equal partners. In the 1960s, Burma Oil Company undertook the construction of a 1,157-kilometer-long, fully automated crude oil transportation pipeline from Nahakatiya in Upper Assam to Barauni in Bihar for transporting the excess oil discovered from new fields. This became Asia's first cross-country pipeline. The uniqueness of the pipeline not only just lay in its length, but also in the fact that it had a fully automated operating system, a pipeline that also transports crude oil from ONGC's Upper Assam fields to date. Among many other firsts attributed to the northeastern region, the world's first crude oil conditioning plant was commissioned in Nahakatiya in 1963 for the trunk pipeline. The Guwahati Siliguri product pipeline was commissioned in same ROW in 1964. Also, the country's first public sector refinery, the Guwahati Refinery, has been serving the nation since 1962, which was inaugurated by Pandit Nehru on January 1, 1962. The first ever gas transportation business was also started in this region in 1967 by Assam Gas Company Limited. Subsequently, the Bongeguan and New Maligar refinery emerged in the northeast region, fed by the same pipeline of oil laid in 1960s. From a glorious past to a flourishing future, the oil and gas potential in the northeastern region has grown since. At present, out of 26 sedimentary basins in India, the two major Category 1 basins, the Upper Assam Shelf and Assam Arakan Basin, are in the northeastern region, consisting of 18% of the country's oil and gas resources. Despite the decades past, the hydrocarbon potential in the Northeast is immense. What has been discovered is nothing but a mere droplet in the ocean of opportunities that lie ahead. Realizing the same, many efforts have been undertaken by the Government of India to unleash its potential. Under the vision of the Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi, the Hydrocarbon Vision 2030 document was released to leverage the hydrocarbon sector for the socio-economic development of the region. Indra Danush Gas Grid Limited is constructing a 1,656-kilometer natural gas grid, connecting the capitals of all eight northeastern states, including Sikkim. The Urjaganga National Gas Grid will be brought up to Guwahati by Gale India Limited, 
to be further extended by IGGL. The massive expansion project of New Malagar refinery, followed with the construction of Paradip New Malagar crude oil pipeline, is scheduled for completion by 2024. Brahmaputra Crackers and Polymers Limited is implementing the prestigious Assam Gas Cracker Project, the first ever petrochemical project in Northeast India. The Namrup Fertilizer Complex, later renamed as Brahmaputra Valley Fertilizer Corporation Limited, is the first factory of its kind in India to use associated natural gas as a basic raw material for producing nitrogenous fertilizer. These projects will change the outlook of the entire Northeastern region. An area that was once a mystery due to lack of connectivity has witnessed many infrastructure projects. The Bogibil Railroad Bridge, India-Bangladesh Friendship Pipeline, Bupen Hazari Kusetu, airports in Gangtok and Tezu, city gas distribution network expansion, railway and hydropower projects, and several others are testament to that. It should be noted that the glory of the northeastern region does not end here. It has two UNESCO heritage sites, Manas National Park and Kaziranga National Park, Majuli, Dipur Bil in Assam, Apatani Cultural Landscape and Thembang Fortified Village in Arunachal Pradesh and others are some of the marvels. The northeastern India, with seven contiguous states and the Himalayan state of Sikkim, is known for its rare and virgin beauty. Each state has its unique culture and heritage and is home to diverse flora and fauna and unique yet hospitable terrains. The northeastern region has a true blend of natural beauty and natural resources and with its huge talent pool plays a key role in India's development. With the right stimulus, the region will contribute significantly towards the energy independence of the country. But all of it must be done while preserving the rich biodiversity of the region. It is time to put North East first, a region that has given the nation so many firsts. Presented by Social Friendly.